Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we are successfully complete our total code application for the blog data. Now I want to do, I want to visible all that our blog post data in our front end. So into the front end in our home page, into the home page here you can see there have uh, some of the images, uh, then but our name, okay, that is a category should be displayed in here and that is our read more button. First of all, I want to do, I want to do visibility in here. So that is in our home everything home related I, I don't need this right now i close it and also i close it okay so everything i have already added in our font in into the font in if you go to our index first of all you have to find out our appropriate file area so right now our file everything in here there is a work process right there is a work process i have already included the portfolio and after that portfolio there is a testimonial there is a testimonial part and after the testimonial then there is our another section right then that should be another section for the blog you can see there is a blog area so now i simply copy this section uh, there is a contain area i want to do into blog you can see there is a blog area and so now and section is closed now i simply cut it i simply cut it and everything home related i have already segment you can see to the font in there is a home all so better i want to create another new file i click as a save as and i just name it as a home underscore blog okay that is our home blog part i am dot blade dot php I simply created as a home blog now i want to segment okay i simply paste it in here now we have to also include it right in our in that position into this position now we have to include it so if you want to include i have already include before you can see there is a include i copy it now in our block position that is our block area is started block area ended i paste it so now into the include in our font in folder that is our home all folder i have created on the new file as a home underscore block so that will be uh, so that will be as a home underscore block great now that should be included in here right now if you want to check it click as a save all if you now go our home page refresh it yeah you can see everything is actually the same right everything is just same perfect now we have to do have to get this data we can do this work in our page as a home block our process will be just like that same first of all i want to do and to get all the data that i have already done in our about a lot of the pages i have done right so now better copy it here only we have to add that on the php extension that the php started php ended so i want to do and to get our block data if you go to our block controller into this block controller before i have already get that data and i have visible it in our admin page now that will be the same concept i copy it and now i want to do and to paste it okay so now that will be as a blocks and here from the with our block model i want to get all that our latest data and if you want to use on the block in here also you have to add that appropriate file location that is our app and then the backslash models so that is a models folder and then our model name as a block right so now we get all that our data from our block table by this model and now i take it with this variable so now with this variable you can actually display all the things mm, right now they have the so many static data we have to do have to minimize it right i want to minimize that would be only one will be enough and then i will i will actually add another for each loop because one by one it will be get all the data so first of all here we have to do we have to find our common part uh, our common part um, you can see that is our one there is one and also that is started as a nine right so that is our another nine so now that is actually our common part that is a common dev so that is our dev one if you select it yeah you can see it's now started from to this position ended in here so right now i only want to, to take one and two of this i want to delete mm, like that is our one i remove it and also select this dev dev is ended you can see it's also mark it now i want to do and to delete it great now that should be only one now that should be only one dev so into this dev area here i want to do i want to add on the for each loop right that is our common part i want to make one of the for each so that will be the for each right for each will be started and also after that that will be the for each and so i make it as and for each okay great how much is it is though now that is our and for each and i have already get all that our latest data by this blog so now with these blogs i want to make as whatever the name actually choose i name it as an item 
now with this item we have to do we have to visible everything we have to visible like as if they have some of the images you can see i didn't up, update that link for the reasons our image is not visible so image actually um, that type of one of the image if you go to our home and on the home i have already shared that things with you they have some of the images you can see there's some of the images and also for the image dimension i have already set up right if you want to check it if you put your cursor you can see there is a 430 and 327 we resize it by one of the laravel package as a laravel intervention package great now i want to do to visible it so now there's the image the src better i want to make little bit left side because they have so many space into the left area so i simply move it and now i want to do and to update that our src I simply remove it okay here if you display it i hope at that point you already know that it was the asset right it is the asset and here right now i have already get all that our blocks that i take the things with our item now with this item variable i want to display our field name for the blog image if you go to a blog table our field name as a better go to the structure as a block image i copy it now that will be our blog image great and then our another one another one that part so is actually which things here i want to display our category name right i have already created some of the category so if you want to display this category then only you have to do uh, here i have already created one of the relationship now that is our for each loop now that is our item okay now with this item uh, first of all we have to add that our function name that i have created in our blog if you go to our blog i have created the relationship with our function name as a category now that will be as a category and then i want to do and to display our field name right our category table field name if you go to our sub that is our category block category table field name as a block category now that that will be display our block category blog underscore category okay friend I have already discussed about that things with you we have successfully created also another two of this field relationship now our table another category and with this i want to access our block category name great so now that should be display our category name dynamically and then i want to display our time so here if you want to display the time if you go to our um, first of all i want to check it i inserted the time or not in our blog post go to the browse into the browse yeah you can see i have already inserted that created that right or you created that before i have inserted with the carbon if you go to our store block into this store block you can see that is a created that as a now great so now if you want to display it you can display it with the carbon like i want to do here if you want to display it then you have to use it as a carbon carbon okay carbon and then the backslash carbon carbon and then carbon and then you have to use it as a press parse okay that is a parse and then we have to use it our name so that is our item so with this item okay with this item now i want to do to access our field name our field name is which one as a created underscore at so now i want to uh, use it as a created created underscore at okay and that is actually default one of the format when you use it then automatically it will be get the time value so and also we have to add call another method as a div okay so here that will be the di double f double f d for d for humans okay d for humans uh, now that is one of the method here we have to do have to call it now our a carbon time will be updated and then that will be display the title right title will be same mm, like title will be with this item i want to access it that will be just like our images i copy it now that will be our title so here i want to do i want to use the billet syntax and then item with this item now i want to access our title field our title field name as a blog underscore title right so now i want to do to display it as a blog underscore title so that will be the title great great so now friend that's all you have to do now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go to our home page now i want to refresh it now there is another mistake there is some the error as the undefined function assets where exactly i have used that assets so that will be obviously as the asset you can see i have used that asset so that will be as the asset I have used a lot of the time as an asset 
now click on the save wall now go there refresh it yeah you can see it's now successfully working and now if you go our blog yes yes how much professionally it is now you can see friend image is visible our category name is visible you can see that the category name is visible there is another category there is another category and our time you can see here i'm using that carbon so when you use that as a carbon part and then our drip for humans now it's display appropriate on time as a 54 minute ago i have created this post one hour ago i have created this post our title is also visible and then there's a read more button great great right now i have the three post and also here it will be get the three data so it's successfully now loaded okay it's now successfully loaded in particular that area so now if you want to insert another one like i sh check it like if you want to get that as a ad block i want to check another one i make it as a um, react and then i put another one that will be the react react okay react i make it as a react react and then put the description like if you go to that more into the more area if they have multiple data then what exactly it should be do like sorry i <laughs> copy or time some of the description i copy it now that will be the description and i choose one of the image okay i choose for education purpose right now i choose this one now if you click as the insert block data now right now there is a four block right if you now go to our home page now i refresh it now you can see it's now display as a four which is totally fine but i don't want to this break that our layout here i only want to do on the visible three post our latest three post will be visible okay so if you want to do this work you can also add some of the limit in your query like in our home blog i have already get all the data so now after that i want to do and to put on the limit i make it as a limit the okay, limit limit it will be i want to display only the three post data okay when you use that as a limit now only three post data it should be gated in here okay so now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you refresh it now that should be display only three so here's actually get some of the error as a limit does not exist okay here actually we have to do we have to add that limit before this gate okay so after here i want to don't use it i want to use that limit okay so first of all that will be get that latest data and then the limit will be as a three data and then it will be get this data perfect now click the save all and now if you go refresh it again successfully loaded and now if you go now that should be display only three yes you can see now only three post is visible that is the latest post or this one and that is visible successfully now there is a three so if you want to add some of the limit i hope friend now it's very much clear to you so if you make it as a two only two post will be visible okay now our layout is perfect only three post is visible in here great so in our next video i want to do when you click it then that will be return redirect to our specific um our page that means you specific this block page so how can do this work that i have already done for our project so that will be just like that same so how can do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video